A truck crane lifts steel shell plates from a staging area. The crane holds them in place on the vessel while they are tack welded in position. After tack welding several steel shell plates, the welder went back to complete the welds on each plate. As the employee completed each weld, the crane continued moving additional plates into position. As the welder worked on the port section, the crane moved plates to the starboard side. The crane lifted each plate and swung it over the hull under construction. The crane operator inadvertently left the auxiliary hoist line partially extended. As the crane swung, the auxiliary line struck the top of a shell plate, snapping it at its tack welded base. The shell plate toppled and fell onto the welder working below. The welder was crushed to death. Let's look at some of the contributing factors that led to this fatality. The crane operator did not recognize the hazards caused by the partially extended auxiliary hoist line. Crane operators should assess and recognize potential hazards before starting work. Unused slings and lines must be secured prior to moving the load. The crane operator swung the boom and load over an area where the employee was working. Crane operators must never swing loads over employees. The work should be planned and plates pre-positioned on both the starboard and port sides so there is no load passing over the workers. It is recommended that riggers wear a high visibility vest and have available to them an audible device such as a whistle to alert crane operators or nearby workers of unsafe situations. The welder was not aware that the crane had started to swing over his work area. Educate all workers of the hazards around working cranes. Crane operators should keep visual contact with nearby workers. Assign a spotter on the ground to make sure the crane will not interfere with other objects or other work operations.